Hello guys, my name is Dipali Ponika. Today I'm going to tell you about the off tracking concept. This is the second lecture of traffic engineering. In the first lecture, we saw about the traffic characteristics, two types of traffic characteristics, road user characteristics and vehicular characteristics. In the road user characteristic, we saw about the physical characteristics, mental characteristics, psychological characteristics, environmental factor, driver characteristics also and in a vehicular characteristic we saw about the dynamic and static that, that all about the traffic characteristics. In this new lecture we will see about the off tracking concept, the phenomenon of off tracking which is in a horizontal curve, basically in a horizontal curve how it will be happen. So before starting this lecture we, I would like to request you please subscribe this channel like this video and share it so uh, off tracking basically this is the definition of off tracking which is I will tell you first when a vehicle takes a turn on a horizontal curve rear wheel do not follow the path of a front wheel so in this horizontal curve you can see this is the center line of a curve center of a curve sorry this is the center of a curve and this is the radius of a curve r1 is the radius of a rear wheel you can see this is the vehicle of a vehicle and this is the rear wheel of a vehicle these two are the rear wheel of a vehicle and this is the front wheel of a vehicle r1 is always less than the r2 r2 is always greater than the r1 this distance distance between the two will it's l it's a length of will base or we can say distance between the rear will and uh, front will so what exactly the meaning of this definition i will tell you the in the horizontal curve you can see that when a vehicle takes a turn on a horizontal curve this is the horizontal curve and the vehicle is moving in a horizontal curve now uh, the rear wheel do not follow the path of a front wheel you can see that this black line indicates the path followed by the front wheel and the uh, green line indicates the path followed by the rear wheel so this definition indicates that the rear wheel do not follow the path of a front wheel due to that the off tracking is generated and due to the off tracking extra widening is generated actually in the road you can see this is the difference of a um, rear wheel path and the uh, front wheel path so due to that off tracking is generated so off uh, sorry extra widening is generated in the road in this is all about the horizontal curve but in a straight road front uh, you can see this is the straight road in a straight road uh, vehicle is moving in a x direction this is the x direction and uh, this is the rear wheel this is a front wheel of a vehicle vehicle is moving in a x direction this rear wheel always follow the path of a front wheel in a straight road but in a horizontal curve the rear wheel do not follow the path of a front wheel got it so uh, this straight uh, in this straight road we can say that rear wheel follow the impact of a front wheel also we can say that now we can see uh, this is a formula of off tracking the basic formula of off tracking in off tracking always n equals to 1 the number uh, of uh, will is uh, 1 always so this formula is like n l square upon 2r but in off tracking whenever the off tracking concept is generated then in that case you can see n equals to 1 off tracking basically depend on distance between the front and rear axle this is the rear axle and this is the front axle sorry this is a front axle so this distance between the uh, two ma distance between two actual distance between the two will is called the uh, length of will base or the ma this basically uh, 
of tracking basically depend on length of uh, wheel base or distance between the front and rear wheel the second one the off tracking depend on the turning angle also the turning angle also in how much angle it will be turned the axle will be turned then this off tracking concept generally in the extra widening or we can see uh, these two are the major uh, like two most important widening concept first is uh, mechanical widening second is psychological widening mechanical widening formula is the basic uh, derivation is uh, available in the books also so the i'll tell you about the formula of this mechanical widening wm it indicates of wm mechanical widening m stand for mechanical widening and w is the widening actually so wm equals to nl square equal upon 2r equals to off tracking we can say the second one is psychological widening psychological widening indicates of wps equals to v upon n 9.5 under root of r this total this two widening is a concept of total widening actually we can see uh, the total widening equals to mechanical widening plus psychological widening it means a uh, extra widening total widening is nothing but the extra widening which indicates of we equals to wm plus wps and l square upon 2r plus v upon 9.5 under root of r where n is the traffic length number of traffic lengths l is the length of wheel base if in the numerical in this concept numerical is also very very important so in the numerical if l value is not given length of wheel base is not given generally we will assume like a 6.1 or 6 meter it is in a meter please notice the uh, unit of a uh, l which is length of wheel is 6.1 meter or 6 meter generally we will take a 6 meter but some in some uh, numericals you will see the 6.1 also so don't confuse about that and uh, v equals to v is the design speed which is always in a kilometer per hour r is the radius of horizontal curve in this concept some important notes or some important uh, uh, like basic things which is uh, available in which is in uh, the extra widening so we will see one by one first if r is greater than 50 r it means a radius of horizontal curve if it is greater than 50 then extra widening upon 2 is we upon 2 is provided in inner and outer side inner and outer side of a curve if r is less than 50 then we is provided on inner side only if it is uh, total extra widening is total then in uh, only this extra widening is provided if r is less than 50 uh, if it is a uh, radius of horizontal curve is less than 50 then extra widening is provided only in the inner side of the curve if in a multi lane uh, multi lane then n equals to 2 and it means the nothing but the number of uh, traffic lane equals to 2 and we upon 2 extra widening half of extra widening is provided in each lane okay this is about the uh, off tracking concept and extra widening how it will be generated in the extra widening also so this is about the off tracking in the next video we will see the new topic of traffic engineering Thank you so much guys have a nice day